Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Medeiros and I will be presenting on robots in the automotive industry. So in the stimulus packet, I chose to use Thompson and Nixon's point of views because this dramatic improvement in technology coupled with the increased prominence of robots that led Derek Th Thompson to speculate that many people's jobs are being taken away by robots. In Nixon's article, addressed to the nation on Labor Day, then explains his belief that Americans' work ethic should not be tarnished by the idea of technology overcoming citizens' jobs. So that brought me to my question, is the United States automotive industry facing a decline in demand for skilled workers on the assembly line as a result of technology and robots? Robots are taking over the assembly line due to the development of robots. Prior to technology, manufacturing goods were usually made by hand, with individual workers taking expertise in one portion of the product. Each expert would create his own part of the item with simple tools. After each component was crafted, they would be brought together to complete the final product. But why? How are robots more skilled than their skilled workers? Wouldn't that affect the economy? What about the workers? Engineers have increased the efficiency and capabilities of robots as robot, te robot technology has evolved. Despite the loss of jobs for humans, the increasing trend of using robots in the automotive industry is only positive for the economy. Machinery lends itself to precision and quality, a decreased manufacturing costs, and greater productivity. Let's go to my first point. Robots have proven drastically superior to their human counterparts when it comes to quality and precision. In 2013, Ford, a US manufactured car company, explored the idea of a robotic arm with eyes. This robotic arm was implemented with a laser and a camera in order to see exactly where to install different parts of the body on the vehicle. Ford allowed the robot to gain feedback from the engineers to create more precise fenders, door panels, and windshields. Due to this huge milestone in the automotive industry, it has allowed robots to install proper offsets on installations. Ford explains that robots are now able to distinguish when cars are now unique. An engineer at Ford stated, the ability of machines to register any difference in each vehicle on the line improves our quality by providing a custom-like build. Although the presence of robots in the manufacturing operations, humans are still responsible for assembly tasks, such as wiring services and wheel installations. While in some cases, robots have replaced certain tasks previously performed by humans, some robotic technology has been designed to assist tasks that humans perform. For example, the X-Arm. Um, Equipoi, a manufacturing company, developed an exoskeleton device, the X-Arm, here. Um, this was designed to reduce the weight of the human hand in the assembly line. The X-Arm stimulates a human arm, providing sensors, muscles, and tendons that reduce fading to increase their extraordinary quality. The robot's ability to create precise and quality cars are far more greater than the skilled workers. Although humans still play a critical role in the development of the automotive industry, the automotive industry will face a decline in the demand of workers on the assembly line. The main driver for the automotive industry to, increasing, to increase adop, uh, and adopt robots on the assembly line is to lower manufacturing costs. Robots are capable of working 365 days a year, seven days a week, and 24 hours a day, unlike their human counterparts. An engineer at MIT founded a mechanical firm called Rethink Robots that constructs industrial robots that are easy to install and program for 22,000 US dollars. Rethink Robots claims that their robots can be plugged in and easily assume production line functions in less than one hour. The average automotive engineer is paid an annual salary of approximately 73,000 US dollars. In 2006, Ford set aside 3.1 billion US dollars on healthcare for hourly workers and retirees. Considering that amount that Ford spends on salaries and health insurance, Ford could buy over 140,000 Rethink robot machines. Robots may provide many cost benefits in the automotive and manufacturing business. One needs to consider the follow on economic burdens, burdens that may result by humans being displaced by machines. In automotive workers, lose jobs to machines. This creates higher rates of unemployment, creating a great burden in social services, such as unemployment benefits and Medicare. Solving a problem in one area may create problems elsewhere. It would be more beneficial to identify areas where humans provide specialized values, such as in design, robotic software engineering, and robotic management, to strike the right balance between machine and human contribution, to create efficiencies, lower costs, while creating some highly skilled specialized jobs. 
there has been a high demand for cars um, that exceeds human capacity for production in the automotive industry, thus creating a demand for the increased use of robots. In 1941, Ford was producing B-24 bombers at a rate of one plane every 55 minutes, 28 years after the creation of the assembly line by Henry Ford. Today, Tesla is producing a car every 55 seconds. Tesla, a motor company based in Palo Alto, California, is one of the world's most advanced automotive factories and is the most efficient factory in the industry. Tesla has developed autonomous indoor vehicles that do not, to be, do not need to be caged or have to follow floor magnets. Tesla created the Adip Lynx. It can navigate through the factory freely using a digital map and sensors to avoid people and objects. Tesla developed this robot in order to move material to and from workstations to provide efficiency in the factory. Edup links can work far longer than the human capital at 19 hours per day and can hold up to 60 kg worth of equipment. Without robots working on the assembly line, Tesla wouldn't, able, wouldn't be able to keep up with the current demand. Tesla, stabilizing at 2,000 vehicles a week and making around 84,000 vehicles every year now due to the automotive robots on the assembly line. However, Tesla still needs skilled workers to lengthen and strengthen each bundle of wire and insert it into the hydrocolic lift to transfer the motor to the next station. Although Tesla still uses workers on the assembly line, it is transitioning to having workers manage the machines as opposed to performing direct manufacturing. Elon Musk, co-founder of Tesla, says, you can't have people on the production line itself, otherwise you drop to people speed. So there will be no people in the production line itself. People will maintain the machines, upgrade them, and deal with anomalies. Musk believes that the only way to keep up with the current demand is for robots to take over the assembly line. The United States will face a great decline in the demand for skilled workers working along the assembly line due to the advancement of technology in robots. Although there are valid concerns about the displacement of humans in the manufacturing process, perhaps another way to view this technological shift is that this progress will result in the evolution of a new work new workforce in the automotive manufacturing business. This will likely create greater complexities and requirements for more skilled engineering positions to program, service and direct robots that will in turn create greater quality, precision, cost savings, and production efficiencies to meet the growing demand. Thank you. Um, so in the beginning, I first went to academic source. I went through academic sources, but I found that that was quite difficult because I didn't fully understand my topic, or I would kind of jump in between, um, for example, like um, self-driving cars and the assembly line. I found a lot. I found a lot of information about self-driving cars, but not so much about the assembly line itself. So I first searched up my question online and just went through like article after article. Um, but obviously I made sure that it was credible and I um, made sure that it wasn't from some random website um, to fully understand my um, topic before I went deeper into it. Okay, great. Um, what implications do you think, what you found in your research, what mm -hmm. implications do you think your conclusions might have for other industries? Um, I think, wait, can you say that again, please? So if you're talking specifically about Yes. Do you think this has implications for other industries as well? I think it also has it for like the manufacturing business and all sorts of topics, not just the automotive industry. I think I picked the automotive industry because that's such a huge issue right now. Um, but I think definitely in factories, um, people will lose a lot of jobs and a lot of people would become unemployed. Um, so I think that could lead to a disaster.